Hello guys, welcome to the third episode of the Shadow Relics Road to Metamorphic Dust. And this episode is wild, dude. I packed in all the content this episode, all the way up to the full crystal armor set. So I hope you guys enjoy the progression leading up to it because it is a pretty fun one, uh, at least personally for me. So I hope you guys enjoy. That's going to be one of our biggest upgrades on our way to challenge more raids for the dust. So before I do Corrupted God, like I said, I wanted to rush to tier 6 for the 3x drop, so we are currently working on a bunch of tasks right now, and lock in some easy skills that will give us a bunch of tasks, like Hunter. But let's just unlock Hunter first and build up towards Red Chins before we do that. So let's do this. Ooh! Chin Chonkers? Chin Chonkers! Hell yeah, that's perfect, man. I'm about to start Chins. It's time to unlock Elf City because I need it for Gauntlet, and also there's Red Chins there. 43 points, well worth it. I mean, you get to complete some of the most cancerous tasks. And I still have so many points left, and I gained some actually. Gained some back. Ah, there we go. Sweet. Alright, let's go train some Chins. There's going to be so many points here as well. So Chin Chonker's Relic gives me more XP on the Chins, and eventually at level 3, you get double Chins too. But I'm also using Unchained Prodigy, which lets me train my Hunter a bit faster because it gets a plus 8, so I can go to higher level spots earlier. 65. Wait, I'm done already then. I'm going to stop here for now. I will get a thousand black shins, but I want to train this level 3 while I'm editing videos or something. So that way I can catch double chins and speed up the last 500 for that task. Okay, let's unlock the Karen 3 because I want to use Dark Lore for catching Implings for that task and also unlocking Kingdom Divided will offer me a bunch of new spells which will give me a ton of points too. So it's very worth it. Come back here, boy. Dark Lore is so good, man. There we go. Alright, we're done with the Implings. Nice. Oh, I got Glory. Pretty much. Hey, nice. First catch. What? Oh, wait, it's this one. Sinister Offering. There we go. Ooh, 55 per from that. And task completed. Oh, 125 points. And the crazy thing is, I'm still so far away from finishing all the uh, magic tasks. There's still all the Lunar stuff. Dude, look at all these quests that I can quickly skip. All of these take considerable time, so we're definitely going to unlock Fumidic 3. And I still have so many freaking points left on Sage's Renown, so I didn't even know you can make tablets for Ancients and RC Spellbook now. Create this. Man, so free. Spellbook spot for another 125 points. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this so I can access all of the Sepulcher, the Darkmire area, which will give me a lot more points to finish this up, including the gauntlets, so. Uh, lazy single mouse click, dude, OP. Yeah, perfect for this. You just gotta angle it so that you you don't have to move your mouse. Oh, 50 times. Oh, I'm already done. Sweet. Alright, we only have less than 500 points left, and I think I can get that from just doing some of the gauntlet tasks, so let's give it a shot. So, starting off the gauntlet, I don't really have ideal relic setup, like absolute units, so I have to make do what I have until I have tier 6 and better fragments. So I currently am rocking Chain Magic 3 Fragments because Magic is going to be my best weapon at the Hunlift since the staff does not require prayer modifiers to hit max. I can hit a 38 I believe on its own whereas the bow without rigor I can't match that. Same with the Howley without piety. So yeah we're focusing more on that and hopefully that will get us some of these tasks completed. Most of them are time tasks so we'll have to challenge ourselves a bit. Nice, got the first completion. Ooh, 150 points for all that. Yo, that's a lot of points, man. I should be able to get the kill, though. Either way, but still. Alright, I don't know what time it is. Oh, we did it! Wow, we just made it. Tier 6, let's go, man. 458. Ah, sweet tier 6 done. Oh my goodness, man. That was clutch as hell. We did it. Uh, okay, 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 okay. It didn't take too long.
it was frustrating because I was in such a rush, but I'm just going to enjoy some gauntlet with the relics that I have and just, you know, have some fun because we have tier 6 now. And that's the goal, you know, tier 6 for the passive effect, which is, as you can see here, item sources will be 3x as common, aka the freaking crystal weapon seed enhance and the armor seed and all that. It's three times more common. So it's one in like 130 something for the blade instead of one in 400. Oh, yeah, this is awesome too, Slayer. I can actually start doing Slayer really efficiently too because I can pick up whatever Slayer Master I want. I mean, I can pick whatever Slayer task I want. So that's going to be disgusting. Holy crap, 38 34, man. That is just amazing. <laughs> You can't? Oh, I need to try that. I need to try that. Oh, oh, yo, what is that? Oh, armor seed already. Let's go. Gotta go for the back-to-back. -back. Let's go. Oh, yes, boys. Let's go, dude. We already got the armor seed. And we got superior tracking fragment. What the hell is that? Hunter or something? Oh, I can use absolute unit. Yo, that's absolute unit right there? No way, dude. Holy shit. All this money. So much money, man. I guess I don't need to do thieving anymore because Gauntlet's probably going to hook me up with mills and I'm all set with money for the rest of my life. So the fastest way to complete a Gauntlet is definitely with Absolute Unit and Knives Edge. And you can also combo Twin Strikes with it as well. Later on in this video, you'll see that. But it's also very dangerous. The servers have been really bad lately. So I don't recommend this strategy if you're lagging. You can also just play it safe and just go for Absolute Unit and go for like a double hit Relic combo instead. That's also pretty good without incurring crazy risk. 56? <laughs> Yo, I just hit a 56. Defense doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it kind of feels like the same, honestly. It's, this is a bit scary, but... <gasps> what? Dude, back-to-back -back armor seat. Okay. <laughs> All right, yo, we're going again. Dude, what the hell? 15k? Yo, this is nuts. Yeah, I'm I'm happy I waited to get to level 3 before I came back here. Alright, let's wield a thousand black chins. Nice, that's another point. Servers have been extremely laggy right now, so instead of just dying to lag a gauntlet, I decided I need to train to 70 agility anyways in order to wield the crystal weapons coming up. So, I decided to do some agility. Oh, I finally got the golden brick road. All right, 70 agility done, and this is definitely the only time agility is going to be nice and kind of fun because it's quick. I totally forgot about the prayer relics because they are actually going to be so useful for me in the future for training and all that, and also for bossing too. But anyways, I got 80 baby bones from the crystal implants, and I decided, hey, I should just train my prayer real quick. Yeah, my prayer is just so bad, so I definitely need to raise it up a bit for Gauntlet. I'm already at 58. Feels good, man. Ooh. Hey, paying respects, really. Like, let's go. I've been, I've been looking for that. Oh, shit. Nice. Another new fragment, living on a prayer. If you guys are looking for some really good relics, bossing is definitely a really good way to do that. Because some relics are only available from bosses or have a higher chance. And we got Living on a Prayer from Gauntlet. It's really good because it slows down the prayer drain rate. Which is amazing because your herbaler is blocked for some time. So it might be really annoying to get prayer pots. So you might not need prayer pots because of it. So Gauntlet gives a bunch of experience in like smithing and crafting whenever you make weapons and armor. So I definitely took advantage of that. And I unlock smithing, crafting, and woodcutting. So that way I get some free XP while I am grinding for the weapons and armor. Alright, I can probably complete a task right now if I go fast enough. Mm. Oh, I did it. Sweet. Oh, that's a lot of points. Whoa, 250. Holy shit. 625. Oh, that was really fast. Jesus. Elite task, 7 minutes complete. Uh, Grandmaster combat task. Ooh, sweet. 250 points from that. Hell yeah. This is the perfect setup, by the way, for uh, the boss. If you move it here or any of the sides like this where you have one row that you can move around the boss. This is like the hardcore Iron Man strap, but you can really utilize this on any game mode. 
to make your life easier. Oh shit, Divine Restoration. Oh my god, I literally got all the pro relics today off of Gauntlet. So I've got a lot of new relics, and I realized that I can make some really sick combos now with my relic for Gauntlet to speed things up. I can actually incorporate all three relic combos, that is Absolute Unit, Knife's Edge, and Twin Strikes. Twin Strikes allows me to hit more often with melee, so actually Halley can become insanely powerful while incorporating all these other two bonuses as well. But my melee stats are trash, so... Now that I have tier 6, I'm just going to AFK Dagonos and train my mage sets up like crazy for tomorrow. And also, get enough prayer, hopefully from the insult heads and stuff, to uh, get enough prayer to 70 so I can allow piety. So that way, I can main the Halley as my main weapon for the gauntlets. And it should be a lot faster. I decided to get the Black Mask because I'm going to need it to improve my melee slash slayer training soon. And also, I can get some insult heads for Sunny Prayer. I got it! Yay! Finally! The Black Mass. Jeez, I went like 3x try. Just like that, 70. 11k XP drop. Let's go ahead and unlock Camelot 2, aka King's Ransom. There we go. There we go, that's Pidey. Do I still have to talk to the NPC? Oh no, I don't have to. I already have it. Sweet. Holy shit, look at that twin strike. Oh my god. Dude, that was nuts. Oh, yes. Okay, that helps a lot. Third armor seed. I got a bunch of gems from the gauntlet, so it would make life a lot easier if I had absolute unit 4. For double the recoil damage. Oh, I think this could be it. Come on. Tell us. Tell me what it is. Dragon on a bit, sweet. I just unlocked Absolute Unit 4 with that. Now that I have the Dragon on a bit, I get Absolute Unit 4. Which means the damage is reduced by 50% and I reflect 100% damage. So that's insane DPS right there. And I also save a lot of food. And it's also a lot safer for me. I still get a bit of bonus damage from Nice Edge. And I still keep my Twin Strikes. So my Howling Method is still very viable. Jeez. Okay, I just got a massive upgrade from that. Wow. Alright, I'm just going to take off my prayer now. And just let the boss hit me a bunch. <laughs> absolute unit. That's disgusting with the absolute unit, man. Oh, there it is, the fourth armor seat. Thank you, thank you. Just recoil for the kill. Damn, absolute unit, man. Too freaking good. Don't need to damage it. Oh, oh, I got it! Oh, Crystal Weapon Z! Let's go! Damn, I need to train my stats now. Let's try and do this with like a food. Let's test out Absolute Unit. Let's see if we can get a sub 5. Oh, fast ass kill. What do we get? Oh, we did it! 442. Let's go. That was so fast. Let's go. We're gonna go in with like 5 minutes. I have like no food, but. It's okay. I, I believe in the absolute unit too. Oh, perfect. Clutched it. Oh shit, 407. Nice. That was fast. So I decided for tonight's AFK and show, I'm gonna be AFKing some black dragons because I can select them for about a 10 to 15 assignment. So this is like a super fast and easy AFK way to gain a ton of points at tier six. And yeah, I got a thousand points super fast. Okay, I just did my 40th task. Got a thousand Slayer points total, man, in like an hour or something, hour and change. Man, that was busted with a Black Dragon selection combo. Yo, I am so rich that I can just instantly reanimate another set of rune armor back to back and save a bit of time that way. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ, man. 60 15 insta KO, dude. <laughs> oh my god. It doesn't matter what. This is so ridiculous. I've never had so much fun going for defenders in my life, except maybe for the first time ever, you know?
But yeah, this this is definitely the way I want to get a defender in the future leagues. Just get super broken first and then get it. By the way, these guys kind of held giants, so I was able to Lunar uh, NPC contact for constant hell giant task, speeding things up. Oh, we're trying to defender. Wow, we're already done. That was so fast. Dude, it only took us... Uh, let's see. I used about... Oh my god, like 500. Let's do 500. Oh, shoot. Alright, we have 74 crafting. That's good. Because I'm going to use Unchained Talent to get 82. Uh, yeah, didn't even have to do much. Just gems from Gauntlet. I still have leftover. Oh, we got it! Let's go. We're done. Wow. Just like that, bro. We are done. We got the full armor set, and we have the bofa. Well, we don't have the bofa quite yet, but we gotta make the bofa, but that's, that'll be easy, that'll be easy. Just gotta train a little bit of smithing. Woo, let's go, we're out of here. Ah, oh, God, okay. That wasn't too bad, it was only, it only took 86 kills, so. Definitely worth going for tier 6 first, man, I tell you. So I tried to use Molten Miner method for smithing, but unfortunately it was only level 1, so my smithing experience is really bad. But another fast way, that I can do is the good old gold ore blast furnace with goldsmith gauntlet's method. So I'm just going to quickly unlock the quest. And I do have a lot of money, so buying gold ore is not a problem. Thanks to gauntlet. Yeah, apparently the quest is on that list, so. And now I also get to do Vorkat too, so I'll, I'll definitely get the backpack from it too as well. Alright, here it is. 74 smithing. Perfect. Oh, and I can smith the Addy darts for training. Fletching in the future. All right, here it is. We're finally here, boys. Let's go ahead and uh, make ourselves some armor here. Whoa, what was the XP drop, man? That was insane. Oh, and Camdo's Apprentice. Okay, let's make the legs too. Oh my god, 120,000 XP. What the hell? Combined. Jeez. Wow, that's insane. That's insane, dude. Absolutely redonkulous. And of course, we'll make the bow for now. Yeah, sweet. Now we got it. We got the full set, baby. Eventually, I will permacharge this, but uh, we can definitely start using this as, as is, though. There it is. 100 kc done at the gauntlet and we are we'll call it an end to the gauntlet grind because we got all the drops that we need so and this is a nice kc here's the loot i'll put it up in the screen at some point but yeah it's time to go and get some other upgrades and work on tier 7 towards the uh, cm definitely unlock tier 7 definitely get some better upgrades for sure that's it for today's video. Next video is going to be jam-packed. I plan on getting the DK drops, the Vorkath, the backpack, uh, Inferno Cape, and all that stuff. And maybe even sneak in a raid. We'll see. I'm, I'm getting really close to being able to do a normal raid for Prayer Scrolls and stuff like that. So look forward to the next video. It's going to be pretty action-packed. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, definitely consider subscribing, liking the video. It'll help a lot to support the channel. And that way you don't miss on the next video, okay? All right. I'll see you guys very soon in another one. Take care. Bye-bye.